So I'm here with Corey Lee from Celestron, and we are back at Neve for the first time in many years. Uh, what is it like to be back here? Uh, I feel the energy in the Celestron booth. Can you tell us a little bit about your excitement about this next event? Right, well, it's been quite a few years. It's really nice to be back here again and you know, see everybody, see some of the new products, see all the excitement that people bring when they walk in. I mean, it's great. Over the past two years, it's, it's you know, it's, a lot of things have happened, right? And the interesting part about it is there's a lot of interest. The interest in the astronomy products has grown quite a bit. Absolutely. Right? Everybody's looking for something to do at home. Well, guess what? Telescopes work just right. Really good in your backyard, right? So it's good. I mean, the industry has been doing well. I mean, the, I think everybody's had some really good years. So they're with. So you know, at the same time, we've really be, been busy developing new products for everybody. So it's been, it's been great years. It, Past few years. So behind us, we have the, one of the most popular telescope lineups that I think ever, really. Uh, the right. StarSense uh, Explorer Dobbs, the uh, DX models. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your perspective on how technology is is kind of changing astronomy, and not just for the most advanced users, but from the yep. very beginning, yep. from the most uh, advanced to the beginners. Right. Well, so since the founding of Celestron. Our founder has always wanted to make the hobby a lot more accessible for the general public, right? So we find ways to make an uh, optical system at a more reasonable price, more affordable, and we have always just keep using that, the mantra basically, to, you know, to guide us along, right? So what, what, what we have always wanted to do to make the hobby a lot more accessible for everybody. So now through the use of technology, we develop a, develop a product called StarSense Explorer. So we launched these products back in 2020. So it's very simple to use. You put a phone on here, you download our app, you unlock it with the code that comes with a telescope. And you know, once you launch your app, the app uses the camera, look at the sky, identify everything up there, and guide you along. And you can select with your app, go to Jupiter, and you just kind of follow the arrow, and then move it, and all of a sudden, you appear within your eyepiece. So, the whole purpose of that is just to make the hobby easier, make finding objects easier, so you can observe more, don't, don't have to deal with the hassle, just enjoy the hobby, hobby a lot more. It's amazing that what technology has advanced since even last time we were here at Neef, and this lineup, is, this is the first time you've had a chance to kind of get this in front of the general public, so I've seen people at this booth here looking at these scopes, uh, I've had a chance to work with one myself, and it's just magical uh, to be able to find things in the night sky so so quickly, and then to have the you know underlying uh, abilities to learn more and not just find things, but explore things truly um, through the technology. Absolutely, Dave. I think that's a great technology that we have developed for outreach, not, and also bring more people into the hobby, right? Because you know, astronomy and looking up in the sky can be intimidating sometimes. But through the use of technology, because everybody's got one of these, right? right? Then everybody's very comfortable operating one of these. Now you put it on here, and all of a sudden things become easier. Few people are familiar, familiar with the interface. Now, over the last year, we also extended technology to something that's more, more um, speaks more to the crowd here, right? To the Neve crowd. Um, our DOBS. So yeah. we launch a whole line of DOBS, we extend the technology, and now we have a line of StarSense Explorer DOBS. So now all of a sudden, you can use the same technology, the same method of locating pod, uh, objects up in the sky on a DOB. You have the aperture and the technology to go with it. So I look at these and I see that these are the perfect option for families um, that are just getting started in astronomy, but they also allow you to grow with the hobby because it's really just allowing you to have that access and you, you can continue to find new objects, thousands and thousands of objects. Uh, it'll take many, many years to outgrow, especially a daub. In, in many cases, you, you can't. It's, it's going to be an amazing tool, uh, an instrument for you to use for the rest of your life. Absolutely, right? And you know what? I have a nine-year-old. So nine-year-old, I put a phone on here Oh, he kicked the tripod and all that, but it doesn't matter, right? Right. The, the phone can still look at the sky, identify the objects, and if I, I ask, hey, Austin, find me Jupiter, 
He, he looked at the, <laughs> they looked at the app, he put his finger on it, and just follow the arrow. Follow the arrow. And the nine-year-old find me the object. And the, the feeling of having that instant success, there's no more frustration. There's no more sitting under the night sky for minutes and looking at nothing because you can't seem to figure out how to use the scope. That could be the difference between someone sticking with the hobby and someone enjoying the hobby for the rest of their life. They already had interest. This keeps that interest and keeps that uh, going by making it accessible. You're, you're absolutely right. And it's so easy to use. You know, so the younger folks can come in and just pick up a hobby just like that. So we don't have to worry about that getting intimidated by how much they have to learn. All of a sudden, well, let me move on to something else. No, we want to keep them in a the hobby. Right. Here we are. We want to keep them learning. We want to get these guys the tools to learn about our skies. Excellent. Thank you so much. So Corey here um, has an amazing lineup with all of these uh, Celestron StarSense Explorer uh, lineup. This is just the beginning of how technology is already affecting our hobby. Uh, once again, for not only the most advanced users, but now for the beginners who are trying to get started and they can grow with the hobby from the ground up and they can explore the sky without the frustrations of the past.